Hey y'all, welcome back to my bench. Uh, today I wanted to remake the motor on axle setup video for the RadioMaster MT-12. Um, full disclosure, I haven't ran a motor on axle rig in probably a decade. So some of the assumptions and some of the ways I thought about it were based upon that old knowledge. But just to recap, motor on axle, this is a, um, we call this a shafty because it's got drive shafts and a single motor in the middle and they, they spin together. Um, on a motor on axle, just like the name implies, there's a motor on the front axle and a motor on the rear axle. And with a advanced radio, you can control those motors independently and give yourself overdrive, which means that the front spins, the front tires spin faster than the rear tires. And that's good for climbing up hills. Uh, but one thing that, um, anybody with a lot of static overdrive on a rig like this will tell you that when you back up, so when you're, when you're compressed on suspension and you start backing up, instead of the front trying to pull you more backwards, it tries to push you more rearwards. And uh, what that does is it unloads the suspension and gets you into like weird binds. Because again, the front end is trying to go faster than the rear end, and that can get you into some issues. So um, I've got a mix on the radio to reverse that so that when you're in forwards, the front end is faster, but when you're in reverse, the rear end is faster by that same uh, margin. And you can you can tweak those settings and make it more or less in front or backwards. Um, another change from my previous video is when I ran motor on axle, uh, drag brakes weren't as good. So we actually ran like you would go, first time you go into reverse, it would be brake. You'd come back and then it would be reverse. Um, Nowadays, everybody just runs drag brake. So when you don't want to spin, you actually just want neutral. So for dig and then, so dig is when the rear end doesn't spin and the front end can pull you around as the, as the rear end is locked up. Uh, they call it burn in the other direction. So when you lock up the front end and just the rear end um, can spin, they call that burn. So I've got that set up on a switch and I'll show you how to set that up. Uh, and so yeah, this is the my new motor on axle setup video. Oh yeah, one last thing on, on the old video. I had it so that you could do underdrive. And after talking with a couple of guys, that's that's usually never done. It's always either equal front to rear or the front is overdriven. Uh, you never really underdrive the front. So uh, I took that out of the setup as well. So let's go over what we have. All right, so here's the the radio and kind of my fake speed control. So here we can see full throttle, front and rear, full reverse, front and rear. Uh, so this would be analogous to just having the speed controls hooked up to a Y into the same channel. So I've got the overdrive on this pot. So right now we're at 100%, so that's equal to front and back. And we're, we can turn that down to 50%. So now we can see when we go full throttle, we get full throttle on the front motor and only half throttle on the rear motor. So this would be 50% uh, overdrive. And now when we go in reverse, we can see it's flip-flopped. So front is only half and rear is 100%. And like I said, what the, the idea with that is you stop the, when you're going in reverse, you stop the front end trying to outdrive the car and get into weird flippy situations. Um, and that's all tunable. We can change the, the, the split on that if we want. Uh, so then uh, on this trim switch here, I've got dig and burn set up. So if you're going along and you want to do dig, you hold it down and now only the front motor is active. And if you want to do burn, hold it up and now only the rear motor is active. So that's the main settings. You can change your percentage split with this knob and you can do dig and burn with this knob, with this switch. So let's go over the settings and see how to set that up. All right, so because we want the, the mixes to change whether we're in the forward direction or the reverse direction, the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna set up a logical switch based upon that information. So we can hit the model button Scroll over to logical switches. And here we can see that it's already using the throttle as uh, to do these lights. So we can, we can use that as a clue of how to set this up. So we can just come down to the first blank one and we want to add 
if a is greater than x so that this is going to be uh this is going to be when we are when we're in forward the nice thing about edge tx is when you're highlighted something you can just so this would be okay i want to do steering and i'm going to pull the trigger and you can see it says throttle so this logical switch should be on any time that we're in forward so i'm in reverse you can see it goes non-bold and i go forward it is bold reverse not bold forward is bold so now this this will be the the switch that we use to change whether we're going to overdrive the front motor or overdrive the rear motor so to set up those mixes we come over to the mixes page i've got the front plugged into channel two and the rear plugged into channel three so we can click on this to add a new mix channel two we want that to be based upon the throttle we're going to click pull the throttle so now it's set up to be the throttle we're going to come down here and turn the trim off because you should never need to trim an electronic speed control so now we've got that set up and we do the same thing with channel three add throttle turn trim off so now we've got the the simple motor on axle where they're just getting the same signals the the front and the rear motor so now we're going to add in this knob that's going to change the percentage that is done and we're going to use that by multiplying this value times the trigger value and that'll give us the overdrive that we want so we can come back up here to this mix long press and say insert after and the source is going to be this knob again turn trim off and now we want to change the mode. We don't want to add this trigger and this knob. We want to multiply them. So we come down to the multiplexing and we change that to multiply. And now we can see what happens. Right now we're at zero. So this multiplied by zero is zero. We can turn it up to 100%. So now it acts as it should. This multiplied by 100% is what it was before. And if we turn it down to 50% roughly, we can see that we only get 50% movement. And if we turn it negative, now it's opposite. So that's that's not what we want. So the reason that's happening is because this is the range. So this is when the knob is all turned all the way down, it's at negative 100. And when the knob is turned all the way up, it's at positive 100. And what we want it to be is we want it to be from 0 to 100% on this knob. So in order to do that, we can change the weight to 50 and we change the offset to 50 and now you can see we have exactly what we want we go from 0 to 100 percent so at 50 percent it's 50 percent on the front motor and we turn it up to 100 percent 100 percent turn it all the way down now it's basically off so that's what we want from overdrive but we only want this to be active. We we'll, we only want to this this is really even though I'm calling it overdrive, this is the percentage reduction knob kind of if you want to think about it that way. And we want that to be active when we're in reverse for the front motor. So, we're going to come down here to the switch, which is the switch that we set up in the logical switches. So, if we long press, we can go to logical switches, and that was logical switch 6 and Logical switch six is on when we're in forward. So we want to use the inverse. So again, long press and say invert that. So now this mix is only going to be active when we're in reverse. So if we're at, we're at 50%, so we should get full throttle and forward and 50% throttle in reverse. So that mix is now set up correctly. We can return, 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 and now we want to take this and copy it and paste it into channel three as well so that they're set up the same. But for channel three, for the rear motor, we want it to be flip-flopped. We only want that to be active and forward. So we can long press and edit and we can come down here and instead of being the opposite of, switch, of logical switch six, we want it to actually be logical switch six. So now if we return, Again, our, our knob is in the halfway position, so 
this should be 50% overdrive. And so we move the throttle forward. We get 100% throttle in the front, 50% throttle in the rear. We go, we go to reverse. The opposite happens. We get 100% throttle in the rear and only 50% 50, 50 throttle in the front. So now that's exactly what we want with this switch, but now we need to set up the dig because we want the we want dig and burn on this switch. And if you see my other videos, you know that this is a fairly straightforward thing to do by kind of cheating using the special functions window. So we're gonna add a new special function. We're going to use the trim switch. Trim switch. And this is trim switch four, T4. So if we go to T4. Plus, we want to override channel three. Actually, let's override channel two for burn and click the little checkbox to make sure it's on. Hit return. Click on this one. We want T3 minus. Wait, is it T3? T4. Sorry, T4 minus. We want to override channel three to be zero. Turn that on. Go up here, fix this one. So now, if we hit this up, it's gonna be uh, burn. If we hit it down, it's gonna be dig. And that's the, anytime you wanna use one of these switches as just a override, um, Special functions is the quickest and easiest way to do it that I know of. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully that this is a, a, a better video than the first one I made on how to set up motor on axle. Because now you have you have something that you can't do in the shaft drive world. You have different overdrive versus going forward versus reverse, which I think is really cool and really beneficial. You've got dig and you've got burn. And you've got it all on a knob here. So if throughout the day, throughout the terrain, you want to change how much overdrive you actually have, you can do that here. So hopefully it's helpful.